if you are gonna start your journey, just be committed because it takes a lot of patience. It's a long process. It really is called a journey for a reason. You guys have been asking nonstop about this video and it is here now. This is my very first quota bag, very first Birkin ever as well. And it is this really the most magical and um, holy grail combination that I can ask for. Birkin 25 Togo in black and rose gold hardware. While we are at it, because I wanted to celebrate this occasion, since getting this Birkin was so special, even though it was such a hard and long journey, but we're here now, I wanted to celebrate it with a giveaway. So I have three boxes right here. One is for me and two of them are for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. I'm super excited for this video because not only do I get to formally celebrate getting offered this beautiful beautiful bag and oh, it's my dream combination i was also working really hard behind the scenes to organize this giveaway in celebration of this occasion there's actually two more items that i'm gonna add to the bundle for the giveaway so make sure that you stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how to enter and of course i have to thank my partners for participating in this giveaway with me and one of them is none other than Samorga and as you can see I have my beautiful trusty Samorga organizer in my Birkin and of course you would not want to not protect this beautiful bag because it's not only my most prized possession it's so expensive and i i only got the one and it took forever to get it it took a lot of effort to get here so i am protecting my asset here i wanted to also show you how i'm storing my little raincoat so as you can see on one of the pockets i have my birkin raincoat all folded up and nicely flat and everything and i just have it on one of the slip pocket of the organizer and that kind of sits against the back of the bag so it kind of tucks underneath the the flap here as well so it's always there in case it starts raining my bag is always protected i also opted for the thinner version so this was the 1.2 millimeter version and why did i go for this because i wanted to not add too much weight to the bag even though the birkin 25 is really not that heavy but it is still a handheld bag and at the end of the day when you're only holding it by hand you can still get tired so i don't want to add to the extra weight of the bag already i was just thinking a very very sort of like long term and just my arm being tired after many many hours of holding my bag so that's why I went for 1.2 main reason is really to protect my bag that is number one reason but it also has the added benefit of brightening the inside of your bag and also adding a couple of pockets for ease of use Samorga is the original felt organizer company founded in Korea, they are my first choice when it comes to choosing an organizer or felt protector for my bags because not only are they the original but they also buy the bags themselves so they buy a genuine handbag themselves in order to make these so you know that the measurement and the fit of their custom organizers are just top notch and also they do make improvements to their organizers over time so once in a while you'll find a new design i know they have a brand new design for the uh picotin now as well which i haven't got one because the one that i have works perfectly fine but they always are innovating again like you see here it's a pitch black bag and you know it is chef leather inside so it's not that delicate but because you know if i can just avoid getting too much dust and spillage and all that why not right and it fits perfectly like i said it's a perfect fit on the inside hopefully it shows up well because like i said it's still very dark um but yeah it's it's just a perfect fit and i wasn't too worried about choosing um, the thinner felt because the size 25 bag is so small to begin with. I feel like structure wise, it's not going to be too 
it's not going to lose too much of its structure over time. It might lose some because at the end of the day, it's still Togo, but because it's a smaller one, it's already going to be super helpful in preserving the structure over time. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I never overfill my bags anyway, so I don't really abuse my bags to begin with. And by protecting it further, you just, you know, it's just adding to that protection. My coupon code allows you to save 20% at checkout and it is Amy20. And of course, I have to thank again, Samorga for sponsoring this part of the video. I am literally melting, but I don't want to touch my face because I'm just going to ruin my face. So let's just keep going. Okay, I'm just going to reveal what these are, which you have seen in the past. I was just waiting waiting for this to happen, this bag to happen. I bought a long time ago, actually. I bought these beautiful, they're called sushi plate or the small trays. If you go on the website, it's called the Hermes small tray and they're supposedly sushi trays. And I bought these since, um, well, I ordered these since last year, but they didn't arrive till this year. That's how hard it is to get anything at Hermes. And these are literally, like, I'm not even kidding. They are literally impossible to get now because not only did they remove it from their website, uh, in store, you are not even able to buy them. They will not offer it to you. They will even discourage you from asking. In fact, they've had many, many orders canceled. That is how insanely difficult it is to get these um, homeware items, especially this tray is like super popular on top of that. And so, um, I was just basically getting ready for this giveaway when I bought these and, um, I'm finally able to give them away. So I have three of them because I bought four, but I gave one away already to Kat. So I'm keeping one, of course. These ones are very, very nice. I know that the gold color can be a bit gaudy and just some people are not fans of gold, which of course I, I am a fan of gold. So I have no problems just giving away the more classic and more neutral ones. So these two are exactly the same. Well. Not really, because they have a different symbol in the back, um, but they're exactly the same plate. Let me see what the symbols are on these two. Oh, so this one has a little lip. It's so cute, right? It's a beautiful, beautiful design, super intricate. And this one has a little hat. There are two of these that I'm giving away. So one of them I am going to reserve for my members. They're kind of like my family. They are just truly um, just amazing, not just subscribers. They are dedicated, committed to coming on every live stream, uh, the members only live stream. So one of them is already dedicated to um, one of the members. So if you are uh, a member, then you are automatically entered into my giveaways. And of course, I'm, there's no way for me to differentiate whether you are a member entering again, because if you are a member, you can enter again on the public uh, giveaway. I'm not going to stop you doing that. And so, yes, one of them is for already for a member. So one of my members guaranteed to win one. And then the other one is for the rest of you. So the prize is not only one of these beautiful small trays from Hermes, which I have kept <laughs> for a while to, to do this giveaway, but you also get a choice of um, organizer from Samorga and one of these. I showed you guys these ones already in my Birkin unboxing. These are little handmade charms from one of my subscriber and she owns this little business where she makes these really, really cute charms and it's such a good idea, like some of you guys said. Uh, they're adorable and she has also offered to give away one charm to each prize. The Birkins are a little bit bigger, so I will say if I had to choose, I would probably choose the Birkin, but the Kelly is super cute though. And the Kelly is a little bit smaller, so they go very, very well. I'm gonna link to her Instagram and her website in my description box. Okay, back to the chit chat before I get too hot and melt here. Thank you all so much for your lovely kind comments on how excited you were for me. And some of you were so like pained for me as well. Let's just say it has been a real roller coaster of a journey to get here, but has it been worth it? A hundred percent. Has it been easy? Oh my gosh, no. 
<laughs> quite the opposite majority of you are just so lovely and so positive and so kind of like rooting for me that i am just nothing but uh so grateful for uh, i just can't believe there is this beautiful community out there who are uh, not jealous and comparing and they're just literally just rooting for me because they are just nice people and I love that. Uh, there is still that small percentage, I will say, right? There's always that small percentage that is not quite like that, quite the opposite and just, you know, either they're trolling or they're just really jealous or calculated. It's just a whole other level of crazy. Um, is it worth it? Yes, totally. But am I gonna recommend it for everyone? No. Uh, I No. I, I just... I don't even know where to begin. I'm so afraid to use different words here because I know I will be nitpicked by the trolls. But this video is for the majority of you, which are really, really nice and genuine. So I'm just gonna say... <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, right? I'm just gonna say it. Um, you know, I decided that it was time for me to stop waiting and to treat myself and that I, I am worthy of one and I will try. I will just uh, I will just try my my luck. I will begin my journey. I know it's gonna be a long road ahead and knowing what I know now it truly was. That was the year last year that I turned 40 and I decided that it's time. I will also say that uh, every person's journey is going to be very very different and so me sharing mine doesn't mean that that's how it's going to happen to you but it also doesn't mean that um i'm going to sugarcoat it because it really isn't that fabulous it's a real roller coaster i'm not joking it's like really a been a very challenging for me um i try to keep it cool but even you guys you know, I say you were rooting for me, but a lot of you guys were kind of getting anxious, angry, sad, whatnot, like all these different emotions about why does Amy not still have her bag off her? And I, I wondered the same thing. <laughs> and some of you also uh, offered, um, I, I'll just call them advice, right? Like a, a lot of you were saying, oh, just go buy a gold bracelet and a cashmere coat and you'll get your offer like next week or very soon but I will just tell you here that I, I, I'm I just glad I didn't listen to you because I know that would not have worked because that's just not how it works in Canada so what I'm sharing is only pertaining to, to well to Canada and also to um, yeah just Canada I don't know if it's really just Vancouver but I know in general Canada is just one of the hardest countries uh, and also most competitive but also the fact that Canada has one of the lowest stocks for the demand uh, it just is incredibly hard and there are some strict rules when it comes to offers in Canada I have only heard of getting one bag offer one quarter bag offer per year at the maximum in Canada. That is a hard rule that I am aware of. And so it can be longer than a year. The first offer, however, um, at least what we hear is that uh, is slightly easier or, or just slightly faster. That's the first offer. But any subsequent offer, so your second, third, fourth bag that you want and as long as they are quota bags, you will wait anywhere between 12 months to 24 months or more. That is just how it works in Canada. If anyone else tells you differently, uh, they're probably lying or they're probably just really lucky. They have a very exceptional case with their store and I'm not sure how because even if you are a VIP in Vancouver, which I have a few friends who oh, I don't know if they're considered VIP, but they spent they spend a lot of money and they still only get offers once a year. Even though there was a lot of sharing on YouTube last year where people just walk in into their store and get offers without even buying much, like hardly buying anything in terms of pre-spend, um, it's not gonna be like that here. 
I'm just gonna tell you that. In terms of what I bought, because <laughs> I got a lot of those questions too, in terms of what I bought to get here, um, I will just say that I shared a lot of it on my YouTube videos already. I'm not gonna rehash every single item that I bought, in fact, because I don't remember. <laughs> uh, but I did share a lot already on my videos, and if you just look up all my Hermes videos, you can have an idea of what I bought. Uh, I will say that uh, ratio-wise, expect to spend anywhere between two to three. That is just a general rule. Um, that's not exactly how much I spent. Um, I probably spent more than that, but let's just not go there because I, it's very painful. And um, yeah, some comments were even so ridiculous that they calculated exactly how much I spent, at least what they thought, because it's way more because Again, I'm not going to rehash everything that I bought, um, but I will just generally recommend that you buy from all categories. Um, so for sure, the categories that help a lot are fine jewelry. Fine jewelry is not only a great place to spend a lot of money because they tend to be more expensive pieces, but they also are very beautiful and longevity wise, you get to wear them for a long time. Aside from fine jewelry, ready to wear is a huge, huge um, category where you can spend easily, very easily, but also gain a lot of brownie points with your store and your essay. I think ready to wear in general for any luxury house is one of their most, I don't know if it's the most profitable necessarily, but it's definitely one of their more favored items to sell to, to their clients because it's such an easy sell, like clothes you can buy so much of. Watches are also a great category to spend in. Um, in case you think that I didn't buy a watch, well I did! <laughs> Which is why I said that I spent a lot more than you think. Uh, but also some of these items that I bought are gifts and it's ridiculous to unbox gifts that are for, meant for other people for my channel. It's just I just don't do that. Um, but yeah, there is going to be a watch unboxing coming. I don't know if it's that soon, but it's coming. It's going to come when I receive the watch. Uh, so watch is also a great category to spend in. Hermes tableware is another really amazing category to spend in. But that is if it's available because apparently Hermes is having a real, real shortage of tableware. As far as I was told, right? I was told by my own store essay that a lot of their clients' tableware orders have been completely canceled and they're not even going to entertain anybody asking for tableware because it's just impossible to get, which is why when I got these plates, um, you know, I got extra because I wanted to do the giveaway, but not only that, I, I knew they were very hard to get, but now it's just impossible to get. Uh, so it's arguable that tableware is a good category if, if you can't buy them, but uh, tableware can get very addictive, and especially if you have a very beautiful home and you can really enjoy a, a nice collection instead of tableware, then it's a, it's a really amazing category to to explore because they just make the most beautiful, stunning tableware. <laughs> and uh, why not? Why not, right? If you love the brand, you're gonna appreciate everything from the brand, not just their bags. Because yes, their leathers, that's what we call them, their leathers are amazing, but they also excel in all the other categories, which is what's so wonderful about Hermes. You can literally buy anything at Hermes. Except food, I suppose. Their silks are a huge category that you can um, get very, very much addicted and spend a lot of money. Um, I have a very nice collection of silk scarves at this point, and uh, I have bought also many silks to give as gifts to my loved ones. And uh, yeah, so I will say they're silk, even though they are still very affordable, I would say that it's considered an affordable luxury at Hermes, is a great category to spend. Uh, it's one of their most popular category. I think a lot of people that shop at Hermes, but they're not necessarily after their leathers, they do buy their silks. They, they're just really wonderful, really wonderful. Uh, even if you're not after bags, I still would recommend that you go 
check out their silks, uh, whether you're going for the 90 centimeter square or the larger cashmere shawl, or if, even if you're going for the twillies, they have wonderful, beautiful silks in general, silks and cashmere. Aside from that, you know, I know there is um, the random, uh, you know, pillow, blanket, fashion jewelry, uh, Apple Watch, which I bought also from my home store. What else is there? I'm telling you, I forgot what I bought, but like, I bought a lot of things. Oh, shoes. Yeah, shoes. I don't know if it's the strongest category to, like, if you're trying to be quote unquote strategic, right? You're trying to really focus your buying and buy the best categories then I, I wouldn't say that shoes is the strongest. Fashion jewelry as well is not the strongest uh, because arguably some some say that fashion jewelry don't even count. But I have bought a few fashion jewelry for myself and for gifts as well. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you buy. What I have been doing and which I have been preaching as well is that you you should really just buy things that you love and that you will use. And, you know, sometimes they don't work out. You know, that's, that, that's you know, unfortunate. But um, you hope that they work out, right? And you hope that by liking the item that you will, um, that they will end up working out for you as well. And so sometimes when they do not work out, it is unfortunate, but such as the thing with anything in life, the small leather goods. This one was a beautiful gift, by the way. That's why I keep it on my beautiful Birkin. Like any of the, like, you know, the Basia, the Calvi, their belts, all those things, they all kind of add to your profile, but I don't know if they necessarily help if that's all you buy, because uh, as I said, the strongest category, right? Jewelry, fine jewelry, watch, ready to wear, tableware, furniture, and anything that kind of decorates the house, I suppose, like the, their wool blankets and stuff like that, those help as well. Uh, but you can only buy so much of those. And silks, I know they are great as well. But I will just say it again and again, buy what you love, buy what you need, and you can be strategic only to a sense that, you know, you, you dabble into each category, but you still buy what you need. Don't just mindlessly buy. These two are some of my most treasured items as well. By the way, if you're wondering if leather, the leather category counts as your pre-spend, um, I was told, and, um, and I'm, now I'm telling you that they don't count. So when I said you have to spend two to one, three to one to get a quota offer, even if you were to buy these, they don't count towards your spend. Uh, unfortunately, they just don't. Uh, certain things just don't count, right? The fashion jewelry don't count. The leathers don't count. Everything else does, I think. Makeup counts. The ones that don't count are leather goods. So any leather goods, right? I believe even things like Basia, wallets, things like that, they don't count towards the pre-spend. What about the weight? Like I mentioned earlier in Canada, um, every single quota bag offer is at least a year uh, and possibly much longer. And I don't know for sure if you s the more you spend, the quicker you get. I'm not sure for that because as far as I was told, right? the managers, the essays, they say that it doesn't matter, but behind closed doors, what do we know, right? Uh, so at the end of the day, like I said, just go with the flow. You have to work with your essay. You have to click with your essay and you just, um, you know, be your nicest, most polite self that you can as a client. I think in general, people should be nice, right? Uh, and that is just good karma. Also, I was told if, again, if you want to be strategic, right? I was told that if you feel like you've reached quota, like enough spend, and you feel like your quota bag is on the way, then try to refrain from asking any other leather bags, because even if it's non-quota, it will, it will maybe affect how soon you can get your quota bag. So I, again, uh, I don't know if any of those things affected mine. Um, 
it's possible. So we've talked about spend ratio, we've talked about what to buy, we've talked about the length of wait, and that is very dependent on region, on the stores that you have in your area. Uh, we hear a lot about um, many of the USA stores having flexibility and um, offering things with uh, much less purchase history, which honestly <laughs> it sounds amazing. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the case here. I hear Australia is pretty bad too, so I feel like Australia and Canada are very similar. Uh, Asia is its own category because Asia works really fast. Uh, it's so competitive, yes, uh, but Asia is a different beast as well. So yeah, it's, it's just what it is. My word of advice is that if you are going to start your journey, and especially in Canada, if you're going to start your journey, then, you know, be patient. It's, it's hard to say and do it. Like I was, be, I was prepared to be patient, but I, I, I was still going crazy <laughs> while I was being patient. I was still wondering like, oh, is it my turn now? Is it my turn now? It's, it's just, you just don't know. I'm also always asked, uh, how do you approach, um, you know, your wish list? How do you, how do you ask about it? Many school of thoughts apparently on how to approach this. And uh, I'm not gonna recommend one necessarily. I think at the end of the day, it still depends on your chemistry with your essay. I think some essays are just softer, more subtle, and they like it more casual, and others are just more firm, more, um, you know, matter of fact, they will tell you what you need to do almost, and, and others are just completely different. Uh, so as for me, I feel like, I feel like I've been pretty clear um, within my first few visits, like within my first, is it four, three or four visits, I was pretty clear that, you know, my intentions was that I was ready to embark on this Hermes branding because I was always carrying an, a Chanel bag and wearing Chanel items. And my, my essay really did notice that um, he actually always complimented on my Chanel bags. Uh, every time I brought a different Chanel bags and so that kind of became a conversation on its own and that is part of me right that's part of my identity because I love Chanel so much that helped him get to know me and also me getting to know him because like why would he be so interested about my Chanel bags right so apparently his girlfriend likes Chanel bags too and uh, I like Chanel bags so I was able to offer some advice and um, at the same time I was able to 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 kind of let him know that you know, I have quite the collection already and I, I I don't have anything from Hermes and therefore that is one of the reasons why I decided to step into this uh, whole Hermes world. I also feel that after your third, fourth visit, that is one of the best times to bring it up as well because not only is the client seeing you more often now, especially if it's kind of spaced out quite frequently because I was going every single month, uh, when they see you often, they recognize you, they see what you buy, it really helps them get to know you as a client, but also they're, they're not curious about you, right? They, they want to know, oh, how can I help this client further? Especially if you have a nice chemistry with your essay. So that is definitely a good time for you to voice, um, you know, even the colors that you like. Talk about colors, talk about leathers, uh, ask some questions. Sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, I would really like to get a bag, but I, I just don't know how, like, is how does this work? Like, do I just tell you my wish list and, and, or how do I even know what I like, right? Like you, you, I guess you can play any cards. You can play the innocent, I don't know much about card and let the essay educate you. Or you can play the card where you know a lot about it because you've seen a lot of videos and researched a lot and you know exactly what you want. Um, you can play a, bow, a bit of both, which is what I did. I kind of know what I wanted already, but I also want to know his opinion. Every essay client uh, interaction and, and relationship is going to be different. And so there's no one cookie cutter way. The wait was definitely long, yes. Um, I think that is something that is inevitable when I started during the pandemic year. It's like, it's like probably one of the worst times to start. It also appears to be, um, you know, Almez as a brand appears to have been brought up to the surface and been really like 
you know, under the, everyone's radar.、Um, it was definitely helped by the fact that all the other luxury houses were having crazy price increases, and I'm hinting to Chanel.、Uh, you know, when Chanel is more expensive or just as expensive as the quota bags, then what are you gonna choose, right? So like. Uh, especially if you already have a lot of classic flops, then it's a natural progression to go towards Hermes. It did not help me that there was so much competition. It did not help me that everyone was aware of Hermes now. It did not help me that there was a shortage of bags because of the pandemic. It did not help me that the pandemic was happening. Therefore, a lot of people were out of work or unable to work and make these bags. And not just make these bags, right? Even the logistics of having them shipped and everything was affected.、Uh, the stock overall, not just for the bags, but for everything, like literally everything that I wanted to buy every time, was out of stock. So, oh yes, one of the things that I want to say is that because of this shortage, and that is what I do now, I don't even bother. I I I don't. I just I don't even bother asking my essay if things are available. Uh, first of all, they get bombarded about these requests, like individual requests, very, very often. So I don't even bother with that because it's no use. They don't ever have the stock anyway. So what I do, I do, I just show up at my appointment when I'm ready to do another shopping spree, and I just buy what they have in stock.、Um, and that has been really helpful in a sense that you know I am eliminating that level of stress for both of us, but also. I just know that it's pointless to try to ask about things that is not in stock. Most likely,、um, you just find out when you're there, and that is the best way. Because trust me, your essay is being bombarded every single day about, oh, is this Rodeo available? Is that Twilly available? Is that <laughs> whatever available? Chances are they're not available. If you're not there, they're not available. But if you go there and they do have it. They might offer it to you if you are gonna start your journey. Just be committed because it takes a lot of patience. It's a long process. It really is called a journey for a reason because it's a lot of ups and downs, and、um, you just don't know. You just don't know. But when you are rewarded with exactly what you ask for, that is the best sign that you have. Succeeded. Nothing that comes easy that we will appreciate as much. I feel also, and even with Chanel, Chanel has been very difficult for me as well. Getting a hold of every single one of the items that I have has not been easy. Maybe it's a little easier than than Elmez for sure, but it's also the timing because, like I said, I started my Elmez journey in the middle of the pandemic, which is the worst time to start. If I had started a few years earlier. I probably would not have gone through so many hoops and waited so long, but it is what it is. I just turned forty last year, so that's when I decided to go for it. I'm happy to answer more questions. Just, just don't ask me like what things you bought exactly. Like, I, I'm, I'm not gonna answer that. I'm sorry. It's just too personal. And also, you guys get an idea of what I bought already based on my. Videos. In fact, some of you already tabulated how much I spent, which, you know, is, is a good estimate, I suppose. But、um, yeah, there's just—I will say this: like, there's just such a crazy group of people out there as well that are、uh, very critical, and maybe critical is too nice to say, even like just trolls, right? Basically, trolls, and I don't appreciate it. None of us do. So I. I will share as a general rule and as a general advice. If you ask me, like in the comment section, I just wouldn't tell you exactly like dollar amount how much I spent. I sorry, I won't do that.、Um, also, if you're wondering about the price of these,、um, it's very expensive. And if you want to just have an idea, because like I said, it doesn't even matter that you know exactly the price of these. Because it won't help you plan for it, because the pre-spend will be so different from person to person. I'm telling you, right now, it's gonna be very different from how much you have to pre-spend versus mine versus another person.、Uh, everyone's journey is different. But I will tell you that the smallest size Birkin, so the 25, is pretty much the same price as a small classic flop. So that's how much you can budget for it,、uh, and also because the leathers and the the 
I think the hardware also can differ. Like the the price can change, especially the leather. The leather, um, if it's a different leather, then the price will be different as well. So it's pointless for me to tell you exactly how much, but just to give you an idea, it's pretty much this, the same price as a small classic flop. It's a lot of money. <laughs> for this video, if you want to enter for my giveaway, then you have a few things to do. I'm going to give you some homework. First of all, of course, you have to be subscribed to my channel. The second step is to like this video. The third step is to follow us on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, follow Samorga on Instagram, and follow Kayla Fong on Instagram. I will have it linked down below. Last and longest step is to comment in this comment section to tell me that you want to enter this giveaway. I will also ask you to tell me, and that is your homework, to tell me which of my video you enjoyed the most and also what videos you want to see from me in the future. You need to include your IG handle name, so your Instagram name, because that's the only way I will contact you. If you receive a DM, it will come directly from my account, which is Fashionably Amy. I only have one account there's no punctuation or different characters so don't be fooled by any of the scams out there you know what i might just choose another winner as well but of course the second winner uh, runner up won't get the plate but they can still get the samorga and a choice of back charm so i think that's nice too right hopefully you guys appreciate that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video Thank you so much for your support always and thank you for all your nice kind messages about um, my Birkin and um, yeah, this is super special for me. That is why I wanted to celebrate with you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you for your kind messages and kind feedback. I appreciate you all so much. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, well then please do. And of course, if you want to support me further, you can join my membership. That's where we have lots of fun and we talk about a lot of stuff. So those, are, those are exclusive videos to just the members. Um, we don't repost those videos on our public platform because um, that's just how special our members are. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.